During World War II, the overall performance of the Italian military was not satisfactory, and their weapons and equipment were lacking compared to first-class armies. However, this does not mean that the Italian military had no bright spots at all. They still had quite a few excellent equipment, such as the TL-37 light trailer, which can be considered the Italian version of the Willis Jeep. In 1938, the Royal Italian Army was searching for a light artillery trailer, and the TL-37, designed and manufactured by the Piedmont Automobile Company, successfully made it to the final round with its outstanding performance. Later, other branches of the Italian military also followed suit and purchased it. TL represents the meaning of a light trailer, but in fact, the TL-37 is more like a jeep than a trailer. The vehicle adopted some very advanced designs. The total weight of the vehicle is about 3.2 tons, powered by a 52-horsepower Fiat 18T1 gasoline engine, with a four-wheel drive mode, a turning radius of only 4.5 meters, a maximum speed of 38 kilometers per hour, a two-ton winch at the rear of the vehicle, and a luggage compartment that can store 250 kilograms of ammunition and other supplies. In addition to the driver, five gunners can also be accommodated in the vehicle. Its towing capacity is outstanding, not only able to easily tow a 75mm mountain gun, but also a 100mm field gun. However, the TL-37 also had many problems, which did not stem from technical or design issues, but rather from the military's unreasonable demands. Originally, the designers planned to use an overhead valve engine, but the military believed that this structure was not yet mature and reliable, so they had to use an outdated engine. Another problem was that the military, for some unknown reason, believed that the battery was also unreliable. As a result, the TL-37 was not equipped with a battery-operated starter motor, and the driver had to manually start the engine by hand cranking. The vehicle's headlights also had to use acetylene lamps, which had been largely discontinued since the 1920s. These problems plagued the Italian military in the early stages, especially during the winter operations of Operation Barbarossa, because the engine oil solidified and made it impossible to start the engine by hand cranking. The acetylene lamps also had very limited night illumination capability, only able to barely illuminate a distance of 20 to 30 meters ahead. Regardless, the TL-37 was an important vehicle for Italy during World War II. Together with the transport version AS-37, it became the main wheeled vehicle of the Italian army in North Africa. The army generally used it to tow heavy artillery, field kitchens, recover damaged vehicles, serve as a refueling vehicle, and as a radio communication vehicle, while the air force used it to tow aircraft. The TL-37 also had an armed version. To meet the operational needs in North Africa, Italy developed the TL-37-75-27. After widening the rear of the vehicle, a 1911-type 75mm gun was installed. This was a light field gun, weighing only 1,015 kg, even lighter when the gun wheels and other structures were removed. The gun had a maximum range of 10,240 meters, a maximum firing rate of 12 rounds per minute, and a sustained firing rate of 6 rounds per minute. The TL-37-75-27 gun was mounted in the middle of the vehicle, with the gun crew seats in the rear of the vehicle, and the gun facing the front, only able to fire forward. The gun vehicle did not carry ammunition, which was carried by another dedicated ammunition vehicle with 32 rounds of ammunition. This wheeled gun vehicle could play the role of a self-propelled gun, which was very important for the Italian army, which lacked heavy equipment. For a four-wheeled vehicle at the time, being able to carry a 75mm field gun was quite remarkable. From the side, the TL-37's body structure was sturdy and it was a very successful vehicle. It is not an exaggeration to say that it is the Italian version of the Willis Jeep. The later versions also improved on the earlier mistakes, making it more reliable. In addition to Italy's own use, Hungary also purchased some TL-37 vehicles. 
Furthermore, other models for transport vehicles, armored vehicles, and other uses were developed on the same chassis. The remaining TL-37 vehicles were used in the Italian military until 1948.